Hi folks, Astronomy Live here. I'm back home now and I wanted to do a quick video tutorial showing you how to install Python and the various dependencies needed to run my Python programs. Now this is going to be specific for Windows as far as the installation of Python goes, but if you're on Mac and Linux you can still follow along for the installation of the dependencies because that'll be pretty much the same regardless of the platform you're on. As far as Linux goes, Python is already pre-installed and you may need to upgrade it depending on what distribution you're on, but if you're on Linux, you probably already know how to do that, and you've probably already done it. If you're on Mac, uh, I'm not entirely sure what the process is going to be like for you. I believe Python is already installed in some manner on Mac right out of the box, but you may need to upgrade it to Python 3. So you can look that up. There are other tutorials out there on how to do that. Unfortunately, I'm not a Mac guy, so don't ask me. But if you have any questions about the dependencies or the installations that I show here, feel free to ask that in the comments below. So let's get right into it with how to install Python on Windows. I find the easiest way to do this is with Chocolatey. So you go to chocolatey.org and click Install Chocolatey Now. Then if you scroll down a bit, you'll come to this line right here, uh, showing you how to install it with the command prompt. And I find this to be quite easy. You just highlight this text, control C to copy, or you can right click, left click, copy, and then open up an administrator command prompt. So the way you do that is you click your start button and type CMD, and that brings up the command prompt. Then just right click on this, left click on run as administrator. Uh, it will ask you for verification that you want this to be able to make changes to your system. Say yes, and then simply right click and that will paste that in there. If it doesn't execute right away, uh, hit enter and it should execute. Uh, and in my case, Chocolatey is already installed, so it's not going to do very much here. All right, so now that that's done, it's a simple process to install Python itself. So all you have to do to install Python now is type choco install Python. So go back to uh, your administrator command prompt, choco install Python, just like that. Now I've already installed Python, so I'm not going to do that, but that should download and install it for you. And then you can do choco upgrade Python if you want to make sure that you are running the latest version. Now, if you simply type Python at this point, it should bring you to the Python console and it should show you uh, the version of Python that you are running and it should sh say uh, Python 3.7 up at the top there. So to exit this all you do is type exit, open parentheses, close parentheses, enter and that clears that out. So now we can install the dependencies. If you have the latest version of Python, the Python package installer should come bundled with it as far as I know. So you should be able to type pip install and let's say numpy. This is one of the dependencies used for my programs. And I've already installed it. And then you can do pip install opencv hyphen python, enter. And that will install opencv. So uh, another program that I previously released is the moon derotator for field rotation of the moon. If you want to run that, you'll need some additional dependencies. So first is going to be pip install mutils. So this is a image utilities package that makes it handier to work with images in Python. So go ahead and install that. And that's a very quick process. I haven't installed these two on my system, so I am actually going to run these. And so now we're going to install PyFM. So this is handy for generating ephemeris of various celestial objects in Python. Pip install ephem. So it'll download and install that. So that's all there is to do that. Uh, it looks like maybe I need to get Visual C++ uh, 14. So that's another installation right there. Um, that's a simple process. You just uh, Google Microsoft Visual Studio uh, and you can download that and install it. I'll need to do that here and that should give you uh, the Visual C++ tools that you need 
uh, for programs like this. So I hope that gets you up and running. That will definitely get you up and running with the uh, image stabilization utility that I published yesterday. So now all you have to do if you want to stabilize some video is simply type Python. Uh, you need to download the Python script that I published yesterday in my previous videos. Video stabilization.py then enter the name of the video file that you want to stabilize and if you leave it there it will actually now I've, I've changed it it will actually show you the proper usage so you need to also specify the codec code so let's say WMV1 uh, remember in the previous video I gave you guys a link to the various codecs you can use now it seems I've tested some more of them and they aren't all included necessarily but um, the major ones are there. So WMV1 and then the file extension for that would be WMV. You can also do things like uh, DivX and then do ADI as the uh, file extension. For this test I'm just going to do WMV1, WMV and then it'll load up the first frame of the video. Then click from the top left, drag to the bottom right and highlight the object to track. And that's it. You're up and running. So I hope that gets you guys up and running. If you have any questions or any problems, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Clear skies, folks.